Stars in Division Stadium has 12 teams of three, one representing each residential college, come together to compete in the fifth annual Final Cut cooking competition. The teams are each responsible for creating a meal utilizing the two special ingredients, beans and fish, in order to take home the cash prize and Yale's highest culinary honor. We talked to some of the teams to learn how they formed and how they prepared for the night's competition. We um, actually all met up a couple of times with the dining hall chefs. We created out some original stuff that we're interested in. And then um, the people from the Styles Dining Hall actually gave us a lot of input in terms of what they thought would be good or bad. Oh, see, right here, this is the best story. The better question is, what is our team name? And that's Blubber Sims. Blubber Sims, because this is our Sib family right here. The three of us have been working together over the last two months basically um, using our different styles. And Alec has, uh, has a restaurant background, Lucas has a restaurant background, I have been in school. So we're kind of just using all those different styles to, uh, to come up with something. The chefs had an hour to cook an appetizer and main course for six. Well, you know, the key ingredient, key thing tonight is going to be the success with beans. And beans need to be central to the entree or the appetizer to be the winning dish. And, you know, it's kids are challenging. So this isn't easy, and I'm really excited about seeing the kinds of things that students come up with. The judges, Dean Mary Miller, New York Times food writer Stephanie Linus, Yale Dining's Executive Director, Rafi Taharian, and Yale Dining's Director of Culinary Excellence, Ron DeSantis, selected the top three teams. Big flavors, herbs, great cooking, fun things to eat, absolutely the right thing to have. Saybrook's team plays third, Davenport's team plays second, and Pearson's team won first place, taking home a $1,000 cash prize. We're very happy. I mean, obviously we don't hope for first, but uh, we heard it was very, very close last night point, so. Basically, I think we just, we just knew what we did. We knew what we could do in an hour, and we didn't try to do too much. We just focused on um, what we knew that we could do. It looks like Team Pearson's creativity and practicality won them Pearson College's very first Final Cut Championship. For YDN Multimedia, this is Katherine Wang.